Hi guys, Andrew with headphones.com coming at you from the brand new headphones.com headphone test environment. And I, I don't have a name for it yet. You can see here, I'm kind of, you know, in, ensconced in this U-shaped desk. You probably can't see it on the camera, but I'm ensconced in a U-shaped desk. With this setup, it's specifically designed around headphone testing procedures. And also it's, you know, against the wall, primarily because I fear sneak attacks. I should probably board up the windows because that can come from anywhere. But, you know, this is basically where I, you know, stay chained up uh, and, uh, you know, they just sort of leave me here overnight. That's how that works. Nonetheless, I wanted to make this quick video to kind of explain what is going on here, why we're doing this, and what's coming down the pipe for new content for me from this environment. Um, I will do a separate video on the various different test procedures that we have going on and also what we're building towards because we will still be doing some more um, stuff. We will be getting an additional, an additional measurement thingy. It's gonna be, it's gonna be here somewhere. I'll uh, let you guys speculate as to what that might be. But the question is, what does it mean for the content that I'll be producing here? We get a lot of headphones that come through here. Um, for those of you guys who are new to this channel, uh, you know, we obviously do headphone reviews here. And what happens is it usually takes about two weeks to do a review. Um, or at least two weeks to come up with a fully formed judgment. But that doesn't mean that the actual testing process with the equipment that we're using here takes that long. It's that that's when we're doing the you know long-term kind of evaluations with comparisons and you know different equipment. And I tend to think that two weeks is a fair amount of time because it gives you the opportunity to compare against other products uh, that you might have around or get other products in. It gives you enough time to really do that kind of assessment. So the point about all this is that we're going to be giving the first impressions and initial evaluations that happen anyways and then get posted up on the headphone community forum in video form. Now, unfortunately, that means that you guys have to see more of this and hear the calm, soothing, dulcet tones of my voice droning on and on in video form, but that's okay because you guys have good headphones, right? Right? Okay, maybe not. We'll, we'll work on that. That's, that's a you problem, not a me problem. It does not mean that I won't be doing the longer format, complete judgments, reviews, and evaluations on products. It's just that I'm gonna be a little bit more selective about what those are, and for the rest of these products that come through, they will still get the same care and rigor that all products do. It's just that we'll be able to cover more of them. So with the test videos that you guys are gonna be seeing in the near future for me with all of this stuff, um, I don't want you guys to think that these are kind of like the, the final word on these products that come through because again, I, I think that they really do require you know a certain amount of time to spend with them before coming up with those final judgments. So I'm gonna be doing my best to kind of leave those types of judgments for um, you know that format uh, and for those longer uh, you know term evaluations. I will still be giving some commentary on what I think of these products, but please don't think that these are kind of like the be all end all, close the book evaluations. These are gonna be more first impressions evaluations uh, more than anything else. And just again, the process that I go through when testing this stuff. Now, I'll let you guys go in a minute, but just before I do, I want to mention a couple of the different tests that we'll be running here. Obviously, we'll be, we'll be doing frequency response. Then we'll also be testing uh, things like isolation, leakage, and uh, active noise cancelling. You can see here there's a couple of active noise cancelling headphones. The goal is to do a little bit more with some of the practical elements of noise cancelling headphones. Um, and then also, we have the ABX tester as well uh, to potentially test amplifiers. Again, I'm still hoping to eventually be able to measure amplifiers. We're not there yet. Uh, we're still sort of building that, uh, building that out. And eventually, we'll be testing also uh, the effect of headphones on different heads. So like how headphone frequency response changes depending on the ear that it's on. And we have ways of doing that. Also, we will continue to do in-ear microphone tests uh, to see how it is on an actual human head, at least for the bass, because that's really all you can get there. Um, but that's still an important data point. Um, so I hope that kind of gives you a sense of what to expect from this environment and uh, some of the outputs that we have. I want to basically take you guys through the whole process of everything that we're doing from the testing side of things. And then, you know, I will, of course, be giving some judgment there, even though it won't be the full complete one that I would have in, you know, a more thorough, long format, long term kind of video. But that does it for this video. Uh, again, if you guys are new here and you're looking forward to that content, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. That way you're notified for when it comes out, which is hopefully going to be soon. Um, and as usual, stay tuned to the headphones.com community uh, forum and the reviews and guides section up on headphones.com for more articles, reviews, information, measurements, and all that good stuff. Anyways, that's it for me, guys. Hope to see you soon.